Okay, here's my attempt at making another uh, homemade capacitor. Uh, this time it's wrapped on the outside of the cylinder. And uh, the so-called C-clamps, uh, I found that I could use one of these uh, dryer... These are a, a clamp that you use to uh, attach a um, dryer pipe to a dryer. Um, it happened to fit the cylinder perfect. Um, here's the uh, value I'm reading, and if you take this uh, screw and tighten it, then um, I'll attempt to show that it's kind of hard <laughs> if I just pinch with my hands. If you pinch, you can uh, increase the capacitance ever so slightly. Um, so I, I imagine um, you would just dial in the capacitance that you want, or you would basically use this as a variable capacitor. Um, now it's hard to buy variable capacitors in the nanofarad range. Uh, the stuff that is sold is in the picofarad range. So I think that's why um, Hendershot built his own. And even today, um, 80 years later, you still have to kind of build your own because you cannot buy these components easily. Um, I've been reading this paper and um, one thing that's interesting here is uh, this. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is, um, this is some data I've been, been collecting on the basket weave uh, coil. Um, the blue line represents the inductance uh, relative to the number of turns. So the number of turns are on the x-axis, the inductance in micro henrys on the y-axis. Um, at 9 turns I measured uh, 25 micro henrys at 18 72 microhenries and at 27 turns 130 microhenries. Um, then when you stick that um, cylinder which is highly magnetic stainless steel um, with an unknown permeability if you stick that in there then the inductance changes and it actually reduces which is not what I would have predicted. I would have I would have predicted that it would have increased because there's a lot of uh, iron uh, and, and it's magnetic. Um, so what I'm wondering is this machine, this coil capacitor machine, I'm wondering if the inductance can shift around uh, subject to the hysteresis. Um, in terms of figuring out exactly what frequency Hendershot was tuning for, um, it's kind of complicated because we don't know exactly how this machine works with with respect to these coils and the metal cylinder that's in them. With the capacitor wrapped around it, the capacitor worked out to be around um, 30 nanofarads, which is kind of big. Um, with this um, bracket on here, I can adjust the tightness, and actually tightening it makes the capacitance bigger, probably because it uh, makes because this is not evenly wrapped around it and it makes the uh, plates uh, fan out a little bit, make them wider, separating wider as opposed to um, uh, being pushed together closer. But anyway, um, I had to augment this capacitor with uh, two 20 nanofarads in series and uh, in doing that I can bring this 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 set of capacitors to exactly 7.8 nanofarads. Um, then the, uh, the this basket weave coil is 130 microhenries. Um, so it's still a mystery what this coil value should be, but there's an interesting thing happening. If I um, put an antenna on one side of the tank, and then um, on the other side measure. Uh, the voltage between the other side and ground, um, there's a very slow uh, subhertz voltage here. So one of the um, harmonics is ticking along at a very slow rate here. 
I've noticed that this only moves though if there's a source of electromagnetic radiation in the room somewhere. So like if I turn off the fluorescent lights, well actually that won't make it stop either because the camera um, is providing uh, energy and I can't turn off the camera and show you, but um, if I turn off the camera, this voltage stabilizes and no longer moves. Uh, also, this uh, coil capacitor is very sensitive um, to inductance in the room. If I just move around in the room, uh, the values uh, can kind of spike and change and glitch uh, dr dramatically. Right now it's, yeah, so I'll just kind of move around and I don't know if you see that, but sometimes it, it'll go up or down in a, a couple of millivolts, like putting my hand near it or something. So it's very induct inductively sensitive. But if I uh, stay in one place in the room, this subhertzian wave is so this will um, eventually uh, start. Right now, it's dec right now it's sort of incrementing uh, towards zero from from a minus three hundred, and um, it'll cross zero and then start going up positive to some amplitude, and then come down again. So it's a very slow wave.